Hello boys and girls, Mr. Jimini coming to you with one of the more challenging lessons of chapter 6, which is lesson 6-4, solving percents with equations. So let's jump right into one here, and I want to think about some things though here. I know that the word is typically means something to do with equal, and the word of has something to do with multiplication. I always want to kind of keep these in mind as I read these problems and think about how I can look for those words and put the correct sign or operation where, where it's applicable in these problems. So if I take a look here, it says Craig just finished reading 120 pages of his history assignment. Now, if the assignment is 125 pages, what percent has Craig read so far? Now, has Craig read a certain percent of the 125 pages, or has he read a certain percent of the 120 pages? The 120 equals how much he's read. Sorry about that ugly one there. Let's try there. The, 100, the 120 is the part he's read. Now, we want to figure out what percent of 125 he's read. Now, we know he read 120 pages. He read 120 pages of the 125. So I could do this a couple ways. I could set up an equation like this. We don't know what percent of 125 he's read. We know he read 120 pages, but what percent is that is in relation to 125. So to solve this, I would divide both sides by 125. And now I will use my calculator. 125 divided by 125, that cancels out. So I'm left with 120 divided by 125. Now that equals 9,600. Now does that make sense? He's read less than 1% of his entire book. Oh, no, no, no. We have to remember that we want to do percents. We have to times that by 100 or move the decimal two places to the right because it is getting larger. One and two. So Craig has read 96% of the book so far. 96% of the book. Okay. If I take a look at another one. Hal Sporting Goods had a one-day sale. The original price of a mountain bike was $325. On sale, it was $276.25. What is the percent reduction for this sale? Hmm. Let's see here. What is the percent reduction? So how much did they reduce it from this price to this price? Let's see here. I know I have $325 on one side of the equation. I know I have $276.25 on, on the other side of the equation. Now the question then becomes, is $276.25 some percent of this? Are we trying to find the percent of this? Are we trying to find the percent of 325 that this is equal? So what is the percent reduction? So they reduce the price. My thought is we're trying to find out what percent of this is equal to this. So if I go ahead and divide both sides by 325, and again, I have my calculator out here, $276.25 divided by $325. Now we're getting an answer of 85, 85 hundredths, which we know to times by 100 to get percent. Now does that mean the price would reduce by 85%? No, that's what percent we're paying. We're paying 85% of the original price. So the reduction is the difference between the 100% that the original price is and the 85% that we're paying. So that'll give me 15, so it's a 15% reduction. Hope this helps you out a little bit with these. These are challenging. I think I have one more here. Let's see if I can find it. Let me see. I think I have it. I need to paste it here real quick. There it is. In a survey, 46 people, which was 20% 20, 20 of those surveyed, chose red as their favorite color. How many people were surveyed? So 40, in a survey, 46 people, oh, that's not highlighter, 46 people, which was or which is equal to 20% 20, 20 of those surveyed, chose red as their favorite color. How many were surveyed? Hmm. 46, which was or which is equals, which is, which is 20% of those surveyed times those who are surveyed. How many people were surveyed? Oh, this is nice. 
So we know 46 people is equal to 20% of the number surveyed. Now, the thing I need to do is get rid of this percent, but I need to find the decimal equivalent of it. So I divide it by 100 or move that decimal two places to the left, and I get 2 tenths times S. Now I'll divide both sides by 2 tenths. I might be able to do some paper pencil here. 46 divided by 2 tenths. I can't have a decimal in my divisor, so I move the decimal over. Move over here. I get here. Now that gives me 2 and 3. And let's see here. Zero, right? Now, does that make sense? Hmm. 46 divided by 2 tenths, does that make it 230 people were surveyed? Let's take a look. That means 230 people were surveyed. Now, that should mean that 20% of 230 people is equal to 46. So let's do the math real quick. 230, 230 times 20%, so I'll do 2 tenths, equals 46. We have a winner. All right, hope this helps. Take care. Bye.